Hey you guys, thank you for joining Sandra's Art Studio and today I am doing an outlet camouflage paint job on the backsplash of this place called Those Kitchen Guys here in Port St. Lucie. So if you guys ever need something done for your kitchen or your bathroom, I'm sure they can hook you up. So come and check it out. So here I am unscrewing this outlet so that way I can apply some of this plastic behind the outlet and this is so that I can spray that he's a promoter on the outlet and not have to worry about leaving too much of a mess. Now, if I do get accidentally some of this onto the backsplash, it's not a big deal to go ahead and just remove it with a blade. So before you spray this adhesive promoter onto this plastic, you do want to make sure that it's thoroughly clean. And I have alcohol in this little spray bottle that I carry with me. I try to keep my container small. If I'm going from job to job, I just try to keep as small as I can because that way I can put more stuff in my toolbox, right? So once you spray the adhesive promoter after cleaning thoroughly your backsplash outlet, you wanna let this dry for like a good five minutes before you start applying paint. And because it does have a little bit of a smell, I placed the mat right on top of the outlet and I left it there for like a good five minutes while it was drying and I also opened the doors and I have a fan ventilating and all that jazz. Now that it's dry, I'm going to start matching the background color of this backsplash, which is that creamy white. And I find that a lot of times I end up mixing like a tan with a white and maybe just a little bit of gray in this case. Uh, of course, through the video, you're going to see a distortion on the colors. But um, one of the things that I like to do when I'm actually matching colors is once I mix the little batch of colors, then I apply it directly onto a backsplash because I can remove it easily with a blade, with a razor blade. So if I like the way it looks on the backsplash, directly paint it on the backsplash. If it's hard to see, then I'll go ahead and proceed and paint the whole outlet. And at the beginning, I have that cover around the outlet because I'm going to make sure that I get the edges really good. In this case, I found myself giving it about three coats before I was totally happy with the background color. And in between each coat, I was giving it about two minutes to dry. In this case, I'm only doing one, but if I was doing, you know, 10 outlets, then of course I would just go ahead and hit each outlet and come back on the same order with the next color and the next color. And here's another little tip that if you are waiting a little bit in between coats to dry, maybe you can cover your paints with something. In this case, I'm covering it with a mat every time I get a chance because acrylics dry so fast and I don't want to have like uh, dry particles that start giving it a texture that I don't want for this project. I want this to be nice and smooth and very professional looking. And once I have my background color in, I will remove that plastic because I really want to match a little bit closer to what the edges are showing me, right? So I want to continue the color into the outlet. So at one point, right before I start doing all the little swirls and all the little accents, I will remove the plastic and carry the accents into the outlet. As you're watching progress on this project, I'd like to mention to you guys, I hope that you're learning a lot from the videos that I'm putting out on this project um, and let you guys know that if you are the artistic type that wants to continue to do things with your artistic abilities, this is the right thing for you. And it's not just outlets, it's other things too. You know, like I have a grill in my jacuzzi bathtub that I know eventually I'm going to make a video out of that too because it does not match the, the tile that is around it. So it sticks out like a sore thumb. So if you're looking for something that you want to do on your own terms and have fun, continue being artistic, this could be the right business prototype for you. So here I'm almost done with this project and I like to look at it from the distance and see, you know, what is it that I'm not seeing from a close-up shot. It always amazes me of how your eye can just be fixed on certain details when you're really close to it and when you give a little bit of distance uh, and you see the bigger picture, then you come back and, you know, you may need to like adjust the color here or there. 
And if you find value on watching these videos, please give it a like, subscribe, and hit the notifications. You know, that's how we advance in YouTube world. And thank you for that. As I come to the end of this project, you see how this is such a short video. It really doesn't take long to do one of these outlets once you get the hang of it. And once I let it dry for a couple minutes, I'll go ahead and spray it with this diamond finish, which it really is pretty durable stuff. I really like it. Many times I've had uh, samples of these outlets already finished fall off my tray and hit the ground. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to like get a little nick or whatever. No, nope, it's pretty durable. The stuff is pretty tough. So I like that product and I have it in the description for you guys. And here is the finished project. I like it. What do you guys think? Alrighty, I'm all done with the outlet cover for this backsplash. And I really appreciate those kitchen guys for letting me do the little demonstration right here and their floor. And if you guys need any work done, you can hook up with those kitchen guys. They'll take care of you. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed the show and I'll see you next time. Bye.